Okay, welcome back. This is Basic Electronics episode 4.5. So, I'm just going to start where we left off. We we're talking about modifications for the Atari Punk console. So, basically, I'm just going to start. Uh, so, this next mod is also pretty simple. It takes a little bit of planning and thinking and a lot of experimentation to get the desired effect. But basically, what I did in this mod, it's going to be very hard to see, but those, I don't know if you've heard of them or seen them before, they're dip switches. So basically, these are four uh, switch dip switches, eight pins, so they're just simple, single pull, single throw switches, shaped like a dip chip, like that 556 timer. And what you do, I'm going to set this down, is you remove the capacitor. The capacitors that go to ground from pin 6 and pin 13, or at least in mine. Then you run wires, you run wires from those pins into one side of the dip switch. And then connect all the pins on the one side. So, after you do that, then what you can do is, uh, after you do that, you can go and do that for the other side, and for both of them, or if you only have one dip switch, you can do it for one of them, whatever. And then you take capacitors, various sizes. Mine range from uh, 0.047 microfarads uh, far farads all the way down to uh, 0 0.01 microfarads. So there's a, a 104, a 473, and a 103, and then there's a electrolytic in there for both of them. That way you can get equal, you can get kind of an equal thing, which doesn't make any difference how you do it, just as long as it still makes enough of a tone that you can actually hear it. So I'm just going to play a little bit, and then there's going to be a short break in the video. I have to build the next mod, so Peter's just going to stop, and then it's going to be start again with the next mod, so bear with me. Oh, by the way, this is just the standard Atari Punk console right now, without any of the switches flipped. Or, yeah, without any of the switches So then what I can do, uh, it's going to be hard for me to get, so I'll just use my knife, but I can flip different switch settings in here, and you can flip more than one at a time, uh, it just depends on what you want to do. So I'm going to flip that one and see what that sounds like, maybe. Uh, so one second. So we're not getting much of a tone for that one. So what I can do is I can go back. Uh, so I can flip that one, and I'll flip that one. And I'm holding this down because it keeps popping out. The leads aren't long enough on this one dip switch. Uh, hopefully yours won't have that problem. I think there's a workaround, but basically I'm just holding it in place. <laughs> say I don't like that tone, then I can go in, flip that one, flip that one down. Now let's try this one. So it just all depends on personal preference, uh, whatever you like to do. You can mess with it, pretty fun to play with. You can put in different capacitance ranges. So, very relatively simple mod, not too hard. It was pretty easy for me to do, it took maybe 20 minutes. 
Uh, very quick. One thing that I'm using, it makes my breadboard look like look like a rat's nest. But I'm using these little uh, preformed jumper wires. They're stranded wire in the middle, and then with a solid tip on the end of the camera would focus. It'd be a lot easier. But basically, it's very easy to pop into a breadboard and whatever you like to, whatever you want to make. And they come in a various sizes. Got them on Amazon. They're like five bucks. When I got them, they did, like the reviews say, it was a 70 piece package. They did smell like gasoline, like all the, like uh, all the reviews said, but I just left them in my garage for three days. And it's all fine now, so I can't smell anything anyway. But that's going to be it for this part. I'll make the rest of the video. It, it'll just pop up next. But this So this is the other mod I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, this one's probably the most complex one I'm going to show you. This is going to be it. There's, but let me just say this quick before I show you this and then I end the, end the video. There are plenty of more mods out there. These are just the basic ones. Like, I have ones that I was trying out to see if they're any good. And there's plenty of them. I'm showing you some of the more unheard of ones like this. Uh, it's going to be hard to see. But that's actually a, it's a temperature sensor. So if you put your fingers on it, I'll change the pitch and stuff. If you hook that up instead of a uh, potentiometer, you can use a... Uh, actually, on here, there's a photoresistor. You can use that. Uh, anything. Really, the mo more common ones are the potentiometers. Replacing those with something or adding something in series. But there's plenty of other ones out here, out there, on the inter internet and stuff. So... Uh, I'm just going to show you this one last one really quick. This is one of the coolest ones I've seen. It is on YouTube and another place. I'm not sure where, but I'll show you. I'll give. You, I'll put the link to the website where you can get the schematic down below. I don't want to copyright that or anything, or copyright infringement. So basically, this is going to be it. I hope you enjoy it. I'll explain it afterwards. So I'll just show you. Oh, by the way, first off, this is just a stock Atari Punk contour right now. So then, I can connect this pin to the separate 555 timer circuit. So I think you get the idea. It's pretty cool. Basically, this is the most complex thing I'm going to show you. But all this one needs for parts is a 556 timer. Uh, I used a 220 microfarad cat. You can mess with the value with that of that a little bit. Uh, transistor NPN. I used a. Let me check really quick. I used a PN two 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 A I think. And uh, also I need a one K resistor and an LED. I just used this nice red one I got in a Jameco grab bag. Uh, basically. Uh, oh, and one last thing, you need a 50,000 ohm potentiometer. I actually couldn't, I didn't have a 50,000 ohm. I have a bunch of 100,000 ohms though, so I use that instead, and it works the exact same. So basically what it does is, if you listen, this is just a simple LED fader. I'll bring it a little bit closer. Actually, if I turn this light off anyway. You can probably see it better.
So see how it's, how it's fading? Well, basically, this is kind of doing the same type of thing that the, uh, that the fans were doing. It's adjusting the voltage on pin 11 using the output of this out of the separate 555 uh, timer circuit. So basically, it's similar to the, if you watch my other video, the computer fan in that aspect. It's just a different, it's just a different way of doing it. And this one's really cool. I'll put the link to the schematic below. I give that guy all the credit on this one. Some of the other, some of these other ones, I thought up myself. But basically, that's gonna be it for the Atari Punk console for now. Anyway, if I find another really, really cool one in the future, I'll go ahead and show it to you. But that's gonna be it for now. Join in next week on Basic Electronics episode five. I'm probably going to use this. Uh, let's see if I can do it really quick. It's not. Yeah. This is a 108 decibel siren. It doesn't look like much, but it's ear splitting. So, next week will probably be a door alarm. And a couple different versions of that. So, we're finally into some real projects now. Not just uh, tutorials and stuff like soldering. This is some real, these are some real circuits and stuff I was at going now. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next week. Bye.